I just spent a few days down in Virginia visiting some of my family and then on the way home, my four hour trip on the way home, I stopped at all sorts of thrift stores, got all sorts of goodies and I can't wait to show them to you. Let's get started. That was a really fast trip. I was just passing by this Goodwill that's not in my town. And I thought, hey, I'm just gonna stop in and see what they have. And I'm so glad that I did because that mirror is an antique mirror. We're gonna take a better look at it later in the video, but it's just really, really an awesome mirror. And I found that luggage rack. I've been looking for one for a few years now. They're just really handy. I'm gonna make that over. And anyway, I might hit up one more Goodwill today. I'm still away from home and outside of our town, so I might try to hit up one more. Let's see.
That was an unexpected gem of fine for a woman who loves dishes, and that would be me, and oval dishes, especially like, okay, so you saw me looking through some of those pieces, and they're, they were really pretty, but they're round, and I'm trying to stay with oval pieces, white dishes that I love. I love ironstone, of course, many of us do. I also like the um, restaurant where the heavy, it's like real thick, Homer Laughlin puts a lot of that out, and I was able to find some of those Homer Laughlin dishes in there, those little custard cups. That's what my husband and I use for our yogurt and berry dessert every night. So I walked out of there spending $3.50. I gave them an extra donation, so I gave them a $5 bill because they are, that store, they're helping to feed the hungry. They are helping to rehabilitate prisoners that want some help, additional help. They're helping to give clothing to the community. This place here, they're doing a lot of work and $1.50 is not much of a donation, but all the stuff in there had been donated to them. So they're just making a clear profit. Look for those kind of stores and ask if what they do with their donations, what they do with their profits. And all the people are volunteers. I mean, it was a good, good place to be. I've decided to take a little detour so I'm hungry and if I'm gonna take this detour, I just gotta feed myself because I wanna be ready for thrifting, right? So I stopped at Wayback Burgers, really one of the best hamburgers, fast food hamburger places. I don't know if you have one, let me know down in the comments if you have ever heard of Wayback Burgers. It's also called Jake's. I don't know why they changed their name or something, I don't know. Anyway, got a Barks root beer, got my Wayback Burger and some french fries in here. I'm gonna take a little break and then I'm going to head over to the next Goodwill. The last Goodwill that I was in, I saw the sign for Senior Day on Wednesdays. I totally forgot about that. Today's Wednesday and they give 30% off. So I thought, well, I don't have anywhere to be today and I'm on my way home from being away for a little while. I'm gonna treat myself and I'm gonna cross our state to get to another Goodwill. By the way, I'm in Delaware and Delaware, I like to joke, it's from the top to the bottom of the state is about an hour and a half drive and then Width-wise, it's a speck. If I can, I'm going to put a little map of Delaware and where it is in the United States. It's a tiny, tiny little place. I have to head back out and get my, my ID. What a flattering statement. They wanna see my ID to make sure that I'm gonna get the senior citizen discount. <laughs> so it's well worth it because it's 30% off. I'm going out to my vehicle and I'm going to get my ID. Yay, I've been carded. I'm not going to believe the price that I just paid for a 100% linen duvet cover that probably retailed for 150 or $200, like minimum. This thing was expensive. I'll tell you here in just a little bit. I'm gonna drive home and show you everything I got. I've got everything unpacked out of the car except for my heavy suitcase. I'm gonna let my husband get that when he gets home from work. But I did manage to get all my goodies and I'm really, really excited to show you some of the things that I found. Well, all of the things that I found while I was out at these three thrift stores. Say that 10 times fast. That's not easy. Let me show you what I got. I might be showing you these in different order. So bear, bear with me, because I can't remember what's what. 
I'll show you this. This, you know I love little lamps, little brass lamps, especially right now, I'm loving. This is one of those, it takes a candelabra style lamp or bulb, so it'd be a really small bulb. And sitting next to it, or actually over on the other shelf, was the cutest little shade with a candelabra. There goes my dog. Let me get him. Anyway, he's gonna have a hard time. You see him over there. He just barks at the cars when they go by, but let's just get through this. So the lampshade that I found has one of those candelabra uh, clips. So it'll fit that size light bulb perfectly. And look at this. I can't wait to make this over. I'm not going to leave it like this because Cindy doesn't leave well enough alone. We're gonna do something with this in a future video. I've been keeping my eye out for storage bins. I got this one for 99 cents. I'm going to use it inside one of my cabinets in my craft room. I think I'm gonna keep all my, some of my camera equipment stashed away in here in that little cabinet. I came across this. This is one of the 1980s craft store projects. I'm sure this was handmade. It looks like an old fashioned scoop but they put in one of those candle cups. And remember, I have a box full of these that I use for a different purpose. So I may or may not keep that in there. I don't know. I doubt that I'm going to put a taper candle. That feels a little sketchy, but I was thinking it would be pretty with a little flower arrangement. I could put a little plant in here after I fix it up. That makeover is coming in a future video too. Next up is this mirror. Look at this. You can, can you see that bevel around the outside edge? The wood is really pretty. It's definitely an antique. And I don't know if I can, you can see my kitchen in it. I don't know if I can show you, but there is all that old thing that happens to mirrors that gets kind of speckly because some of the mirror stuff on the back of it's coming off. I don't know, but it's an aged mirror. It's beautiful. Loving the bevel edge on this. I don't know if I'll hang it this way or this way i'm not sure about that so it kind of depends on where i'm going to put it i'm going to refresh the wood i will probably keep that natural wood because it's so pretty i have to do some repair work to the back but look at that it was 6.99 that was a deal and i have actually even a better deal on all these things i just bought let me let me just check on that hang on all right so all of those things were bought at the first i think the first goodwill that i stopped at and they were 30 percent off because in our state Goodwill has 30% off on Wednesdays for senior citizen and yay, that's me. I'm a senior citizen. So I got, let's see, we had 99 cents. This started out as $1.99 and then the lamp was $5.99, I think. It was either $5.99 or $6.99 and the mirror was $6.99. I got all that for 30% off. Let me do some math. Hang on. I did some quick math and all that adds up to about $16. It was 15 and some change. So when you take that 30% off, I got all that for $11, $11, a little brass lamp, a shade and the plastic container and that awesome mirror. This item was actually at a different store. And let me show you the other things that I got at this store. So if I remember right, it was called, oh golly, I don't know, that was a few hours ago. I forget what it was called, but you can go back in the video and see what it was called. And it was a great organization that all the proceeds go to helping feed the community through a food bank. They clothe the community and they help prisoners that want to be, you know, go under a rehab program. They help them also. All the volunteers are there. I mean, it's a really great program. So I got that wood scoop there, that little handmade wood scoop. I got this stack of Homer Laughlin. That was the maker of Fiesta Ware, if you remember any of that. And they also made restaurant ware. And I got this nice little stack of little bowls. We love to have these little bowls on hand. Got some other dishes. I like to have these round bowls. This is another Homer Laughlin. It has a little bit of a design. You can see that edging around there. And that's a Homer Laughlin piece. I got that for a dollar. And then another one that is not stamped, but I thought it was a really pretty bowl. I don't know that it's ironstone and I'm okay with that. For a dollar, this is a really pretty bowl. And I have a collection, a curated collection of all sorts of small, smallish size bowls. I like to have these on hand of heavy, small oval plates. I really only use oval plates. That's my favorite. And these are that Ultima China. So I, I'm gonna have to do some research. If you know about this Ultima China, 
If you know about that, let me know down in the comments if you know any history about this. I'm gonna do a little bit of research and maybe I can add that to the video. But I think it was restaurant wear, I'm not 100% sure. But if I can find a stack of these, I really love to use oval plates. My husband and I don't eat a lot of starch at dinner. We mostly have a vegetable and a meat. So these smaller place, plates are, like, are nice for that, but I also have larger oval plates that just a two, you know, a, a, a salad, excuse me, a vegetable and a meat just go, I don't know, I'm weird. I just like oval plates, call me weird. The last two items that, me, that I got, and I'm gonna have to turn the camera around to show you. All right, here's the first thing. I couldn't really show you in the store, and I don't remember which Goodwill I was in. I, I'm getting kind of confused. Anyway, this is one of those luggage racks that you can put in a guest room. Barkley, no, don't do that. No, get off of there. I'll show you that in a minute. He's not being good. Anyway, this is one of those suitcase holders that you can put in a guest room. I really love these things. They're just convenient. They fold up flat. You can tuck them away, put them under the bed, whatever. I'm going to give this little makeover and I'm going to try to make a video for it, but I'm definitely going to write a blog post. So if you don't subscribe to my blog, I have well over 200 blog posts that show step-by-step -step tutorials of all sorts of furniture makeovers, home decor makeovers, upholstery. I mean, you just name it. I've got it over there. And this project will be coming to the blog, possibly to YouTube. Let's see what I can do. I got it for $6.99 and that's going to be a pretty one. And now this piece, but this little dog, He's, he's enjoying this, isn't he? Let me get him settled down. All right, so this is a solid linen duvet cover. Isn't that so pretty? I've got it spread out on the kitchen floor and my dog loves it. I checked the label, you saw that in the store. It is 100% linen. It has this really pretty design. It goes all the way around. This is either a full size or a queen size. And we have a queen size bed. My guest rooms have a full size. So I'll get use out of this no matter what. And I might just use it as a coverlet. I, I don't have a down comforter to put in here. And I'm okay with that because I'll just use it as a summer coverlet because it's this gorgeous 100% linen. So this started out at $6.98 which would have been a phenomenal deal. This is probably an $150 or $200 duvet cover. And with my senior citizen discount, and they carded me, you saw that, I got it for a whopping $4.28. I can hardly believe it. This is the deal of the day, and it just, it just made my thrifting dreams come true. I hope you enjoyed this video as you joined me out on a thrifting adventure while I traveled home from Virginia back to Delaware and I got to visit three thrift stores on the way home. If you enjoy this kind of video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe because I don't want you to miss any of the makeovers that I just talked about. My dog's getting ready to go crazy. So if you subscribe, then you're more likely to see the makeovers that I have coming. And you'll also see more of the thrifting and shopping that I enjoy sharing with you here on YouTube. Now I've got to get that linen duvet cover in my washing machine. I'm super excited about that. Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time. I want to add some spring to my home. So I was super excited to see the real touch hydrangeas that I ordered from Amazon arrived while I was gone. I'm going to link them below, but let me show you these. I got a package of, there's six that come in the package, really reasonably priced. And look at these, they look so real. They're faint blue, love these. They came in other colors, I can't remember right offhand. I'm going to fluff these up a little bit with my, the warm setting on my hair dryer, and then I'm going to use these to add a touch of spring to our home.
I almost completely forgot about the thrifting that I did on my way down to Virginia. That was all the stuff I got on the way home. I thrifted on my way down and I completely forgot. And then when I got home, I realized that I still had more items. Let me show you the other things that I got. Like, what is wrong with me? Seriously. Anyway, a couple of other places. I found these adorable brass candlesticks. I'm in a mission. I'm on a mission to collect, uh, curate all sorts of brass vintage candlesticks. I got this pair and I also, I also, <laughs> I got a lot to show you. I also got this little pair. So cute. I'm going to polish them up. Maybe, maybe I'll leave them the way they are. Who knows? We'll see. I found this little soup tureen. Actually, I don't think it's a soup tureen. It might be a gravy tureen, not really a gravy boat, but this is a piece of ironstone. It's got beautiful patina, the patina on it. You can see right here, that coloring that's so pretty. And then on the inside, this veining that happened is just, oh, just my favorite. I got that little tiny terrine. I love this. I got this soap dish. Now, I don't know that this is ironstone, but it's that heavy stuff that I love so much. And I've not seen anything like this. If you have, let me know down in the comments. But this has holes in it. Of course, you would put a bar of soap there. It would drip and catch. And then you would pour out the extra right there. So I love this little soap dish. I got a stemless teacup. And these are really beautiful. I'm gonna to have to do some research on this, but I do know that this is um, kind of like flow blue ironstone, if you've heard of that, only this color, I don't know the name of the color, so I'm going to have to look that up and I'll try to include that information here. But this is that flow. And what happens when, what happened when they would add the ink to the, you know, while they were dyeing it, it would flow out and create this blurry look that you see. Mostly you see this in blue, flow blue. In fact, Miss Mustard Seed's milk paint has a color named flow blue that's just a beautiful color. I found this teacup. It was only a few dollars. In fact, it was two weeks ago. I don't remember what I paid for most of these things. I found an oval bowl, ironstone bowl. I love ironstone oval bowls. We use these all the time. My, this is usually where I put my lunch for salad, my salad for lunch that I have almost every day in one of these. I have a stack of these. I love these. And then lastly, I think it's last, I got two pitchers. So I got this pitcher. This was, I do remember it was $3. It was $2 and 99 cents. It does not have a stamp. I don't know if it's real ironstone, but to me, it was beautiful enough to add to my collection of pitchers. I have quite a collection of pictures and this is going to look beautiful along with that. And then I did find this piece. This is ironstone. Let's see if you can see that label there. And I love the color. I like to have a little bit of red pops here and there. And this is just a beautiful pattern. I'll have to do some research and see it's called Charlotte. It's uh, Alfred Meekin. It's really a beautiful piece. I can imagine the whole set of this must have been so lovely, but this will really be pretty to use at Christmas time or other times throughout the year. Valentine's Day would be really pretty with some beautiful white flowers in it, or I might just keep it empty. Who knows? Anyway, that was a nice surprise when I got home and I saw all those extra pieces that I'd completely forgotten about. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. By the way, I'm really done now.